and that's real talk <laughs> What's good, Real Talk TV? It's your girl Briz, and we are back at it again on the channel. And it's your first time stopping to the channel. Welcome. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy financial content that may be valuable to you. And without further ado, y'all already know. Let's just get into this video. All right, you guys. Now, in today's video, it was brought to my attention for one of my subscribers to do this video. And basically, Navy Federal is being accused of rejecting more than half of its black conventional mortgage applications now we do have an individual that cnn basically narrows and focus on and his name is bob now bob has been a loyal customer to Nate federal for quite some time and also too he has um gotten a pre-approval letter with navy federal personally uh for the conventional mortgage application that he had put in and basically just a couple weeks before he was able to close on the deal he basically got a denial and with the information that was given basically navy federal was basically stating that his income wasn't enough to cover his debt now bob felt as if the decision made from navy federal didn't make sense and not only that the only thing he can think of after everything was said and done was racism so y'all let me know in the comment section on whether or not what do y'all think based off the information that was given that i'm about to share with you guys and also too we'll go over you know what was said and my personal thoughts on that at the end of this video and if y'all can do me a favor and hit that like button i really appreciate it it really helps our youtube algorithm and new subscribers to find our channel and also share this information to other people so that way they can join the family and also share their thoughts and ideas on whether or not how they feel upon what was being said about this situation. So yeah, let's not waste no time. Let's just get into it. Kenyan immigrant turned Texas entrepreneur knew this was his dream home the moment he saw it. It's in a highly sought after school district that his son so desperately wanted to attend for its basketball program. So how many homes did you look at before you found this one and said this was it? We had about six, okay. but this was the one that we, we all wanted and yeah. we were all praying to get this one. Otandi's first choice for his mortgage was Navy Federal Credit Union. It services military members, defense personnel, veterans and their families and is the largest credit union in the country. I was the CEO of my company, so I had a pretty good income. Your credit was in the 700s. Mm -hmm. You had recently sold your house. Mm -hmm. You had $100,000 for the down payment, which was more than 20%. Correct. I mean, what more could you ask for? CNN reviewed Otandi's financial documents. He even had a pre-approval letter from Navy Federal in hand, but just two weeks before closing. I got a denial. They sent me a letter saying, you're sorry, but your application has been denied. Were you stunned, surprised? I mean, I was stunned. I was shocked. I was hurt. The denial mm -hmm. letter listed excessive obligations in relation to income as the reason. When they denied is when we came back and said, oh, man, there's something else going on. And what did you think that something else was? A discrimination. But it wasn't just a tondi. Thousands of other black applicants were also rejected. According to a CNN analysis of federal consumer protection data, last year, Navy Federal Credit Union only approved 48 percent. That's less than half of its black applicants for conventional home mortgages. White borrowers were approved more than 75 percent of the time. It's the biggest gap among the top 50 lenders. The data also shows Navy Federal was more than twice as likely to deny black mortgage applicants than white ones, even when different variables, including income, debt, property value, and down payment percentage were the same. I feel validated at one point, but also I feel a bit of anger, anger because it shouldn't be happening. Two weeks after Navy Federal rejected him, another bank approved Atandi for a mortgage. Navy Federal Credit Union denied CNN's request for an on-camera interview. In a statement, it said it is committed to equal and equitable lending practices and that CNN's recent analysis does not account for major criteria required by any financial institution to approve a mortgage loan. That includes credit scores, which are not public. Navy Federal declined to provide additional data. 
We asked Navy Federal why Bob Otondi's loan was denied, but they declined to comment, citing member privacy. CNN's analysis does not prove discrimination, but it does show dramatic racial disparities in who Navy Federal rejects and approves for conventional mortgage loans. The black-white homeownership gap and the Latino-white homeownership gap today are both wider than they were in 1968 when we passed the Federal Fair Housing Act. Lisa Rice has spent decades as a fair housing advocate. She says the disparities in Navy Federal's lending data are alarming and an extreme example of a bigger problem. It's definitely a larger systemic issue than we know that we have a long history of redlining and a long history of lending discrimination in this nation. Well, all of that, that data that is sort of tainted with bias is being used to develop the credit scoring systems. We got the house, thank God, and we moved on. But what about the ones who are denied? What about the ones who now don't, can't get their own dream house? It's something that's going to affect the generation all the way down to their kids. Well, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which oversees consumer lending, uh, says that they do not comment on specific institutions, but they do conduct their own investigations to ensure that banks and credit unions are following fair lending practices. Jake. So after looking at everything as a whole, let's go ahead and break this video down. So and let me share some of my personal thoughts and what I think on whether or not Navy Federal is racist towards Bob or any black applicant that's trying to get a conventional mortgage loan with Navy Federal. So in a video, it was stated that Bob was self-employed. He made over 100K a year and he had a credit score above 700. He also stated that he had no significant debt and he had a pre-approval letter from Navy Federal personally. So first thing first, what I said in this video is keep in mind that they said that he was self-employed. With being self-employed, people don't know that a lot of things basically is tied to you. So really, that puts you at a high risk for those who don't understand. They also too stated that he makes over 100 k a year. But is this after tax income or tax write-offs or anything of that nature? Because you got to think this also plays a role with him being qualified now moving along to they said that he had a credit score over 700 now keep in mind too that with these credit unions they take into account different types of uh score modeling so cnn basically didn't show proof on what type of credit score that Navy federal was looking at like whether it was a FICO score vantage score or any type of scoring model that Navy federal was looking at CNN also stated that he had no significant debts, but they didn't specify on what types of debts, such as whether it was like high credit utilization, auto loans, things like that. And last but not least, they also stated too that he had a pre-approval letter with Navy Federal personally. But with the pre-approval letters, people need to understand that is not a final approval on with the house being closed on. It's basically just guaranteed that, you know, you got basically your foot in the door, but it's not a final approval. So overall, you guys, with the information that was given, I can honestly say we can't just make an assumption that basically Navy Federal is racist with the information that was given because there was a lot of things that wasn't taken into account due to privacy issues and all of that with the CNN and um, media and all that. They also, too, can be, you know, a little bit over-exaggerating when it comes down to um, putting things out there for the people to hear and basically put their opinion on it. So, just, you know, fruit for thought for everyone. And if you feel different, let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. But, yeah, you guys, just wanted to share that information with y'all. And if y'all can, like I said, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it because it really pushes us into the YouTube algorithm and new subscribers to find our channel. And as always, y'all, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.